Hey guys, so today I thought I would do like an easy makeup look. I've wanted to do like a no foundation makeup routine for a while and Dior came out with this Forever Skin Corrector, uh, which they tout as, it's basically a concealer, but you can use it all over your face in lieu of foundation. And this product kind of reminded me that I've been wanting to do this like no foundation makeup routine. And I've also wanted to kind of create like a really, really easy, like no fuss kind of makeup look. So I've come up with this routine and incorporated this new Dior um, Forever Skin Correct and it really is like a very low, low maintenance look. I think this is gonna be something that's just like perfect for those of you who just need to get out the door. You don't have a lot of time in the mornings. You don't want to spend a lot of time on your makeup. So anyway, those are some of my random thoughts about this uh, makeup routine. And why don't we go ahead and get started? So I have all of my skincare down and I thought today would actually be a pretty good day to do this because my skin, it looks okay, but it's not great like i have uh like this weird breakout over here and then i developed this little guy overnight so those are some things going on in addition to like i have you know sunspots here that used to be cute little freckles but now they're sunspots i have like hyperpigmentation i have like you know like a little bit of like sallowness around my eyes so when it comes to this routine i guess you know you kind of have to custom tailor it to uh your problem problem areas or the things that bug you the most so I am going to start by applying this just to my eye area um, because that's what bugs me the most this kind of like sallowness around my eyes I just feel like it makes me look very tired and I definitely kind of want to cover that up so I'm just gonna start there and I picked a shade that's closer to my actual like face shade usually when I uh, pick a shade for concealer I go like a little bit lighter or a lot lighter even sometimes if I really want to brighten uh, my under eye area but because I wanted to use this kind of all over my face I figured I'd go with something a little bit deeper so this is the shade 2N and I'm just going to I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush And I'm just kind of pouncing this in. This product is so seamless and flawless. So this is my fourth day doing this routine, which is unheard of. I usually like to really kind of change up my routines, uh, make sure I kind of, you know, get to all the makeup in my collection. But I've been really, really enjoying this product and all the other ones that I'll show you in just a second. So there, we just blended that around my eyes. And it's, isn't that great? It's like such a skin-like texture. It doesn't even look like, I don't feel like I look like I have makeup on, but I do feel like it's taken away the sallowness around my eyes, like just enough where now it like, it doesn't bother me. It's not something I find noticeable. And now I'm gonna go in and just do a little like spot correction. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this just has a big doe foot applicator and it just makes it really easy to kind of like dot this on little areas that you want or need special attention. So I'm gonna go straight for these little blemishes. I'm gonna go for these big old sunspots here. And I have a little weird redness too, I'm noticing between my eyebrows and yeah, just along my chin here. And then I do have, I think you guys can see, I have this like redness down here. So I'm just gonna swipe a little there and there. And again, I'm just going in with this BK Beauty brush. See how quick that is? It just blends in so quickly without a lot of effort. Like the texture of this corrector is, it's just, it's so easy to work with. You can see that like, you could still see my sunspots. It's just, everything is just kind of dampened a little bit like it's not quite as blaring my complexion i feel like looks a little bit more even out i feel presentable i feel like this is good enough for me to go out this is good enough for me to go to work this is good enough for me to run some errands and of course you can go ahead and add a little bit more like i have that sunspot on my nose i do have this redness around my nose for like an everyday i don't really care but i'm just going to go ahead and add some just to show you guys how easy it is just to kind of even at your complexion here. 
So that's it. And something I just want to share with you, just something like I've noticed, at least for me when I'm kind of doing my makeup, is I feel like the secret to like quick makeup or a makeup look that doesn't require a lot of products is to make sure you don't actually put down too heavy of a base of foundation. Because as soon as you put down like a medium to full coverage foundation, you have to undo a lot because you are blanking out so much. You have like almost like a mask of makeup on and that's when you have to add a lot of dimension in. You have to start adding in contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, the whole thing where if you leave it kind of light, you can get away with not doing quite as much, if that makes sense. You don't have such a like mask-like appearance where then you have to like start adding in like your human-like features. Where if you keep your base to a minimum, you really don't have to kind of like work in quite as much. So that's just an observation I've made when I've done makeup because I feel like it's this weird domino effect. If I start strong, it's like I, I have to use all these products to kind of like bring like life back into my face. So when I'm doing this routine and I'm using a product like this, I try and like really make sure I'm just using it in little spots that I'm not covering my whole face with it because well, when it kind of defeats the purpose, you may as well just go with foundation, but it keeps the makeup routine really simple. All right, so I am going to powder my face, but I feel like at this point you can go in so many different directions. If you don't feel like powdering your face, maybe you have dry skin, you feel like it makes your skin just look really, really dry or you don't have the time for it, you can kind of like apply some cream products and go. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use some powder. I'm gonna use some pressed powder. And if let's say you don't feel confident enough, you still feel like, uh, I need a little bit more help with my complexion, you can go in with some powder that maybe has a little bit of coverage. You can go in some powder that has a little bit of finish. So I'm actually gonna go in with my um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And this has shades, dim light, incandescent light and radiant light in here. And I just drag my brush across all three of them. So I'm gonna use my big La Mer fluffy brush here. And when you use a big brush, you can make very, very quick work of applying powder. So I'm just going to, again, like kind of just run it across all three products. And I don't want too much powder. I want just enough to help set this down. Although I have used this on days with no powder and I don't feel like this product needs to be set down in terms of it, it like it doesn't crease or anything. It's actually just such a wonderful product. It doesn't crease or anything. It does fade a little bit more quickly on those days that I don't use powder. But again, when I'm doing something so natural and so kind of like low maintenance, I don't really care. It faded after I wanna say like six hours or so, but if that bugs you, then I would definitely use some powder. So anyway, um, I have some of the ambient lighting powder on my brush here and I'm just going to pounce all over. And I like this ambient lighting powder because it gives just, I mean, barely coverage, but it isn't completely translucent. There is a little bit of like tone to it. And the sheen of it is really, really nice too. It, it just does like a really nice kind of like blurring effect. All right, that's it for the powder. Let's go ahead and move on to cheek products. And again, for the everyday, I feel like <laughs> I feel like YouTube has really warped us where we, we feel like we need all of these cheek products. But I think you could probably get away with just one or two cheek products or just one, remember the days when we just would put blush on. But it kind of, again, this kind of just depends on your style, your taste, what you really enjoy. I know people who just use bronzer, it looks beautiful. I know people who just use blush, it looks beautiful. So since I'm a bit of a bronzer fiend, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Tom Ford Terra Bronzer. I love this one because it's very neutral and it just, I don't know, it just kind of like melts into your skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same uh, La Mer brush that I used for the ambient lighting powder and I'm just going to just buff that in really, really softly. Again, I don't wanna to use too much of any one product because then, it, you know, it stands out and then you end up having to like build up more and more makeup to like match that one thing. So you just wanna keep whatever it is that you choose to use just really light. All right, there, very, very light. I just feel like it gave me just a little hint of color of sun to my face, which I really enjoy. Again, not necessary, but again, depending on your taste and your style, like go for it. And next is a product that I have been loving, especially for this look. This is a new blush from NARS. This is that Tempted blush that I hauled. And it's this really beautiful, like light peachy blush, but I think you guys can see the golden sheen in there. 
It is so beautiful. So I've been using this as blush. It's taking care of any kind of highlight that I need because of the beautiful sheen in here. And I've also been using it as eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with my Refer P24 brush, pick up some product, and just buff that into my cheeks. And again, I tend to go overboard with my cheek products, so I'm trying to keep this soft, just so people don't see like just blush when they look at my face. So there's Tempted, and do you see like that beautiful sheen that it leaves? I don't need highlight. When I use this blush, like that's it. All right, and continuing in the vein of super easy makeup, I've got my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, and I have it in the shade Espresso, and I just don't think there's anything easier than a brow mascara. You just kind of brush it in. It fills in any gaps you may have. It holds your brow hairs in place. It defines your brows. Like it's just, it's so easy. So I'm just going to brush it in and voila, brows are done. All right, and now for eyes, I'm going back to this Tempted Blush from NARS and all you need is like a big fluffy eyeshadow brush. So I'm actually gonna go in with this Sonia G Detail Pro Brush. Yeah, the Detail Pro Brush. So this is, it's like a very, very large blending brush. This is the Blender Pro, which is a little bit more of a traditional blender shape. So you can see that the Detail Pro is much fluffier. Again, since we're doing something really fast and really quick, I just wanna go in with like a few strokes and be able to apply some shadow. And of course, if you don't have a brush this size, just use a regular blender brush and you know, basically do the same thing. But I'm gonna go in with my Detail Pro, pick up some blush and just brush this all over my lid. I'm focusing it on the outer corner just so I can apply a little bit more pigment there and then kind of sweeping any excess over my lid. And is this the most revolutionary eyeshadow look? Am I gonna set the world on fire with this eyeshadow look? No, but if that isn't the easiest, most acceptable eyeshadow look, then I don't know what is. But I just love it. I love this shade for it. And I know a lot of people use like bronzer um, for their eyeshadow. I've tried that in the past and I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It, it tends to look very muddy, I feel like in my, eye area, but I feel like blushes in this kind of like peachy neutral tone, I don't know, they work a little bit better for me. So I'm thrilled that this one works because the sheen also gives just the most pretty like look to the lid. And because this is blush and not eyeshadow, there's a little bit less pigment to it. And I feel like you can be kind of messy with it and it's not something that you have to like spend hours blending out. I mean, again, is this the most like earth shattering eyeshadow look? No, but I do think it looks very, very acceptable and I think you look very, very polished. So that's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. So I feel like I need a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Stilo Ombre at Contour in Contour Brun. This is those Chanel, they're like chubby sticks, but I actually like using them to line my eyes um, and to tight line because they just go on really well. And I like this color in particular because it's just, just straight up brown. Like there's no sparkle to it. There's no sheen to it. And when you're doing something, you know, fairly simple, I don't want to have like <laughs> super glittery um, eyeliner or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and tight line. And then I'm also going to apply it to my waterline. Now what I have noticed when I do this particular routine and I have this product down and very little powder, I will notice that I get a little bit more transfer than usual when I use like eyeliner or mascaras. So I'm just remembering that as I'm putting this on. I did experience this the other day. So what I am gonna do is add just a little bit more powder to underneath my eyes and hopefully that will alleviate any of the transfer. It should. I've got my Wayne Goss airbrush here and I'm just going to kind of press that underneath my eyes. And I'm just using the ambient lighting powder again. I'm kind of going but just between like these two shades. All right, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. And I've got my Tom Ford Lash Rays Mascara. And I like this one because it makes my eyelashes look um, long and it separates them. And I feel like when I use a mascara that's a little bit too volumizing with this look, it looks, again, like the, the lashes are too bold on my face. So I wanna keep, again, I wanna keep everything kind of light. 
And then when it comes to lips, I feel like you could do whatever you want at this point, whatever's the easiest, whatever's the fastest, your favorite, or you can do something kind of bold if you just want to throw on a red lip, that'll really make you look polished. It almost doesn't even matter what else you have on your face when you have a red lip on. And for me, when I've been doing this uh, makeup look, I've been kind of playing around with like doing like a red lip or doing something really uh, glossy or just doing something really nude. Um, today, what I think I'm gonna do is apply some lip liner and then apply some lip gloss. So I've got the new Chanel Longwear Lip Pencil in Nude Brun. And then I'm gonna take one of these new Viseart Lip Shines in Beignet. This is the one that has like a caramel color. Just throw that on. It has just enough pigment, like just enough pigment without being like too opaque. And I think when I hauled these, <laughs> I talked about how they smell like bubble gum to me. The scent is actually an Italian prickly pear, so it is very, very fruity. It smells so good. But there, that is it. I look like I have a full face of makeup on, but I have like a third of what I would normally put on. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.